Hello everyone. Hope all of you are doing well. So today I'm going to start the first chapter. God is omnipresent. What does the word omnipresent mean? That means God is everywhere. He is the supreme father of this world. He made everything. And he watches each activity of everyone. So if you think that you can hide your sins, your wrong deeds, then you are absolutely wrong. Okay? No one can hide from his eyes okay the sky the sun the moon the stars the mountains the hills the oceans the seas and the rivers all have been made by the god we human beings the birds animals insects all are made by him and we should be grateful to god why because he is merciful he forgives our sins and what you have to do you regularly have to pray to god because our prayer is a journey towards the real treasure of life okay and it is that door which exposes us to the ultimate wisdom of life so we should pray to god for his blessing every time and we should not do something wrong to others and should always stick to the truth okay so why am i telling about god and why am i telling god is omnipresent So today we are going to read a story which will prove that yes god is there and he is present everywhere Once upon a time there lived a man in a small village his name was gopi he did nothing except theft he used to steal of everybody whatever he found alone he kept himself pleased that no one could watch him one day Gopi went out to the field at night. He wanted to steal something, whatever he found. He had a sickle in his hand. Suddenly he saw a scent coming towards him. Gopi became very happy. He said to the scent, "Good night, great soul. Now we are two. We can do our work easily and get sufficient." The scent said to Gopi, "What do you mean?" I don't know you. What do you want from me? Gopi said politely, "Sir, now we are two. We can harvest this wheat crop sufficiently." "No, I do not," said the saint. "Why? We are two. No one is watching us," said Gopi. "You are wrong. I'm watching you. You are watching me, and the stars, the moon, the sky are watching us." How do you see that no one is watching us? God is everywhere. He watches all of us every time. The stars, the moon, etc. are God's eyes," said the saint. "You are, you are the great soul on the earth. You opened my eyes. I never steal anything. I like to die of hunger, but never cheat anyone," regretted Gopi. The saint blessed. Gopi for his good future and disappeared. Gopi astonished on that saint's disappearance. He understood all. He became a good man and started hard working. So students, this story is about a man whose name was Gopi and he was a very wicked and a bad man because he always used to steal something from everyone. And what happened one night he went out to the field and he wanted to harvest the wheat crop of other people and suddenly he saw that a saint was coming towards him and he became very happy because he thought that in his wrong deed the saint is also going to participate and he offered a help from the man but what happened the saint was very angry and he said that no he cannot accompany in this wrong deed and he said that god is everywhere and he is watching his wrong deed so it's not a good thing to do something wrong to other people's property and what he said the god is everywhere and he watches all of us every time from his eyes like moon sun sky stars these are all the eyes of god so we should be 
careful because if we are thinking that there is nobody around us and watching us uh, what we are doing so it's absolutely wrong children so we have to be very careful because god is everywhere everywhere and he is watching us so what happened after this gopi understood the point okay and he turned himself into a good person and he started working very hard so children the moral of the story is god is everywhere and we should do hard work and we should never cheat anyone else because god is everywhere and he is watching over us that's all for today children hope you enjoyed the story thank you and if you have any queries you can definitely ask me in the live session